Hello, my dears. This is Annette of AnnetteLeonard.com. Back with chronic wellness. Uh, those of you who touch base here regularly know that one of the things I struggle with is paying attention to my body, tuning in to my own lived experience. And I think many of us um, have that and particularly those of us who suffer with chronic pain because part of the way that I live well with chronic pain is by learning how to systematically tune out some of those pain signals, how to turn down the volume on those firing nerves that are constantly bathing my brain with messages about the sensation of pain, right? Like um, it, it's overwhelming, <laughs> it is constant, and, um, and part of improving my quality of life is learning how to tune out. And um, that sometimes gets me into trouble. So I'm continuing to peel this onion and tell you little bits about the story of, of my blood clots and, and this is one of them. So I'd never had blood clots before. My blood clots were located from my jugular down through my bicep under my clavicle and I had been receiving signals about uh, the blood clots and had been systemically writing them off and acknowledging that pain as muscle pain, had been deciding I'd slept on it wrong, had assumed that I'd just pulled something in my back and shoulder that then made the blood clots catastrophically more worse. Uh, by the time we caught them and intervened than if I had caught them earlier on. And so here is that tension between tuning in, paying attention, noticing, intervening, you know, contacting my doctor and saying, hey, this is strange, or I don't know what this is, and believing my own lived experience and uh, me sort of writing it off downplaying it, deciding it's something other than what it was. Uh, I don't have an answer for you here, folks. <laughs> I, I just have an observation, which is living with chronic pain, ain't it a bitch? And um, it makes it difficult. So one of the tools that I use, as you know, is that I keep a journal about some of my pain. So specifically, I journal about my daily migraine pain. Uh, but this has made me rethink um, whether or not I need to be cataloging my daily body pain so that I can really pay attention to other trends in my body pain so that I don't miss these other sort of glaring messages from my body that I might otherwise write off, tune out, decide are insignificant, and then have them snowball into bigger problems. I wonder how you do this. How, how do you know when something rises to a level of greater need than just this is chronic pain? Um, I would be grateful for your input, for you to sound off, for you to leave me a comment, for you to find me on my website, AnnetteLeonard.com, send me an email, any of the ways that occur to you to reach out. I am here and grateful to hear from you. Um, as ever, we are muddling through and seeking ways with chronic conditions to still eke out the fullest, wellest lives we can be living. So thank you for spending these minutes here with me. I'll be back again next week. And in the meantime, hope you are finding ways to be well. <laughs>